I have decided to record this video to explain to English speaking audience how to use the ATM Turbo emulator, where you can find it, how to use it and certainly how to play games released for this clone. So welcome anyone watching this video and let's go. First of all, you need to download emulator and software you want to start. I recommend using this website. I left the links in the description of this video. All we need now is located in the left menu, where we'll find the emulator and software. The link to emulator is called pretty similar to its Latin translation, so it won't be hard to find it. Here you can see a few options. You need to download this one. In the description in Russian we can read that it supports a lot of clones and there are Pentagon, ATM1, Turbo 2 Plus as well as ZX Evolution. So after download you have to unpack it and already now you can start it with Unreal Exam. There is a big chance you'll see the ZX Evolution start screen with a menu. Ok, great. Now I'll show you how you can change the platform. It's quite easy. Just press Alt F1 and you'll see the Preferences window where on the top memory you can select Spectrum Core. Right after selecting and clicking OK, the emulator will restart and voila, you have already started another clone. So now you know where to find the emulator and how to select different platforms. Next step – starting software. It's quite easy too. As we had the TRDOS really widespread in Russian region, a lot of software have been created for Russian clones were in TRD diskette images. So you just have to understand where to take it and how to start it. Not a big deal. Download TRD images you can right here on the page called Skachat, what means download. There are few links to pages with software for different operation systems, if we can call them like that. The most interesting are the first one, games and software for TRDOS, and the second one, software and games for ATM Turbo CPM. Clicking on the first will find a list of software which work pretty well in TRDOS mode. Let's take the first one, the game called Bank. Download it. Unpack it. And you're ready to start it. Don't be confused with SCL file format. The emulator eats them fine. Now open the emulator. Press F3. and select the diskette image we would like to start. For checking you can call command list and here we are, the files are available. Let's start it. It looks like game works pretty well. You also can change the speed of emulator by pressing Alt F1 and choosing the tab ULA, but it's not imperative. 
There are a lot of options, everything in English, so I'm sure it won't be a problem. Let's go on. We tried the TRDOS release, let's try CPM1. Click some link. Download the software you would like to start. Unpack it. And let's start it. We have to reset our clone. Press space to open BIOS like menu and select the option CPM 2.2. After that, you will probably see the CPM command line. Disk A is a RAM disk, so the first disk drive has a letter B and you need to change it like it can be done in MS-DOS. Typing DIR will see that no disks are in our virtual disk drive. So, in the same way like we have already done, pressing F3, we select TRD image for CPM. Let's try DIR once more. Great, disk is mounted. Finally, you have to find the proper .com file and execute it. Bug.com isn't a game. PR.com isn't executable for an ATM Turbo One. and PR2.com is for Turbo 2 Plus. Let's start it. Looks like game works pretty well. So now you can enjoy ATM Turbo 2 Plus Spectrum Clone starting any software released for it. As I've already mentioned, all the links are in the description and feel free asking me if something goes wrong here in comments or in my group on Facebook. Bye bye and thank you for watching this video.